If you've been feeling overwhelmed with anxiety lately, try listening to a guided meditation on the Meditation for Anxiety podcast. Meditation is a proven natural way to help you calm down and dissolve stress so you can feel lighter and happier. So subscribe for free today to the Meditation for Anxiety podcast by searching for Meditation for Anxiety on your favorite podcast player. This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 2719, How to Make Simple Your Superpower, by Lisa Aveillon with nosidebar.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Friday, welcome to Optimal Living Daily or Old, one of a few shows where we read articles to you. You can find the others by searching for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this. And with that, we're gonna get right to it as we optimize your life. How to Make Simple Your Superpower by Lisa Aveillon with nosidebar.com. If you could choose a superpower, what would it be? I'm at the risk of sounding like a youth pastor breaking the ice with a group of self-conscious teenagers, what superpower would you prefer? What would be the most useful, fun, or powerful in your life? I don't know how to answer this question, mostly because I would need about six different superpowers to get done everything I'd like to, Invisibility would be great when I'm introverting real hard, and flight would be super helpful when I'm running 10 minutes late for school pickup. I definitely wouldn't want mind reading because my own mind is scary enough, but I think the superhuman deduction powers of Sherlock Holmes, Benedict Cumberbatch version, obviously, would be awesome when I'm trying to solve the mystery of the lost sippy cup. Since none of these superpowers seem to be manifesting in my life, I've spent the last couple of years searching for a real solution to simplify my life. Superpowers or not, there had to be a better way to make it through the day without overwhelm, exhaustion, self-rejection, and restlessness. What I discovered changed everything. Quote, to have what we want is riches, but to be able to do without is power. George MacDonald. I used to think I was unhappy because I didn't have the right personality or body. I thought I was dissatisfied in life because I wasn't as funny or talented or beautiful as others. I even thought that I had to change who I am, constantly morphing my personality to fit in with the social situation at hand, rejecting and betraying my own self-worth. I thought I needed the right clothes, a nicer car, and a bigger home. It seemed that was where the power of a contented and full life was found. It was exhausting. What I really wanted was more of what everyone else had instead of accepting what I had within me all along. In reality, I was powerless to create the life I wanted because I was striving for more and bigger and better. The power to create change in my life didn't come from satisfying all of my wants, but from my ability to want less, to simplify. Although they aren't superhuman powers, here are some ways I discovered power in simple living. Number one, do without. The ability to do without is a power rooted in gratitude. This world tells us that we should have rather than be, but the more we pursue how to be, the more we accept that we are enough. We can live without that thing or that personality trait we envy or the perfection we strive for because gratitude is acknowledging enough. When we do without and cultivate gratitude, We interrupt the constant feed of advertisements and comparison because nothing can stand against the power of a heart full of thanks. Number two, choose less. I've been experimenting with less lately, not just doing without, but to choose less in the everyday. Less busyness, less numbing out with distraction, less food, less convenience. I ask myself, how much do I really need instead of indulging in what I merely want? Sometimes I don't need any at all. Other times, indeed, I'm satisfied with less. These small decisions aren't heroic, but they remind me throughout the day that I have the power to take back my life and design my own definition of happiness. Number three, live small. I spent many years with the belief that bigger was better. I'm not the only one either. The average American home has more than doubled in size since the 1950s, and SUVs are more popular than ever but it doesn't seem to be making us as a society any happier. A larger home takes a lot of time and money to maintain and often attracts more clutter. 
perhaps the bigger our things are isn't the way to contentment, but it's in the small spaces where we create an intentional life. I didn't move to a smaller home or purchase a smaller car, but I stopped wishing for bigger and better. I realized our house is just right for now. Our old cars are just fine, and they're all more than enough. Number four, go slow. I saw an image on Facebook that said, stop the glorification of busy. Slow is where we become present to our life, where we appreciate the small magical moments of life. Busy is a distraction from the beauty happening when you aren't there. It's too easy to feel trapped in the cycle of chronic busyness, as if we are unaware that we are in control of our time. Harness the power of saying no to invitations, delegating tasks to others, and setting boundaries. And number five, pick the few. Greg McEwen says, we have to choose our vital few from the trivial many. I simplified my life because everything felt like a priority while the true and most important things in my life were given my leftovers. I put more energy into the trivial while my vital few, my husband, kids, and soul care, had to settle for crumbs. Simple living orders your priorities properly and allows you the power to say no to the non-essentials. If I had to choose a superpower, I'd choose a simple life. To do life simply is real power. Not to deprive ourselves, but to liberate. When you take away the power of the world telling you who to be and you're just you, you don't need the riches of fulfilling your wants. You are grateful to do without, to do with less. You just listened to the post titled How to Make Simple Your Superpower by Lisa Aveon with nosidebar.com. Check out Ian Munsick's new album, White Buffalo, available now. The album's all about the West, the lifestyles in the West, people in the West, and why Ian loved growing up there. Stream or purchase now at ianmunsick.com. That's I-A-N-M-U-N-S-I-C-K.com. As if the McCrispy couldn't get any better, Bacon and Ranch just entered the chat. The Bacon Ranch McCrispy, available at participating McDonald's for a limited time. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Thank you to Lisa, a guest writer on No Sidebar. I think a theme here is finding happiness from within instead of relying on things, whether that be tangible goods or people or even experiences for that matter. Experiences are better than things when it comes to our happiness. I don't think that's argued. But even more important than that would be what's going on inside ourselves. Is it contentment or comparison? As Lisa said, the power to create change in my life didn't come from satisfying all of my wants, but from the ability to want less, to simplify. I don't think everything needs to be less. I don't think we need to be able to count the number of items we own or use that lens for everything we do and buy. But I personally see the benefit of looking at my everyday life through that lens and trying not to let society dictate my happiness based on random things like logos. So whichever way you go, hopefully this article was helpful and brought about some reflection. And with that, thank you for reflecting with me and for following or subscribing to the show. And thank you so much if you've ever shared the show with someone. It goes a really long way to keep all of this going. Hope you're having a great Friday if you're listening in real time and I'll see you tomorrow over the weekend where your optimal life awaits.